here it is with the interior finished. We have the star lights up top. Yeah. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Car Gang. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and yada yada yada, you know the deal. But today we have something super exciting. Uh, we're gonna be replacing the thing that dates the Mustang the most and that is the infotainment center. It is first gen sync by Microsoft and it literally looks like the dashboard of a commercial airliner. And the actual like letters and numbers on the display looks like a TI-83 calculator, it looks so bad. But today we are replacing it with this right here and it is like a flat screen and it's just gonna, it's literally a Tesla screen. Like it replaces the entire panel with one big screen and I'm super excited. It's really gonna make this car uh, from an interior perspective look 20 years newer than it does. Uh, so nonetheless, let's get right into it. So here they are side by side, you guys. Obviously you can see what I was talking about. Literally there's over, gosh, at least over 20 buttons. Let's, let, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just realized I was counting these buttons and they're already labeled one to 10. This is embarrassing. Probably miscounted. I'm clearly, I didn't get enough sleep. I counted 40 buttons. I, that does not look like 40, but that's what I counted uh, to zero. So 40 buttons to a flat screen. Uh, you can see right here, this literally looks like it's from the 90s. It's just, it's just a bad look like Microsoft Sync is labeled right here and yes this is mgw i installed a short throw shifter if you guys want to go check out that video but first gen sync the sound system in this car is amazing but this whole system has got to go so let's get rid of this thing you want to start by popping off the center console which is actually really easy all you have to do is kind of open this up stick your hand like right here and your other hand try and get it under here as much as possible and just pull it and it will pop right up you don't want to pull too hard because there is wire connectors and harnesses under there. Then take off your, there you go, like that, your shift knob, set it aside, pop the boot over. You can see the ambient lights in the cup holder, so we're going to have a wire harness to disconnect under here as well as the wire harness to disconnect under this. You're going to want to start from the back though because you're going to have the most room to work. And then once that's freed up, you can work kind of more towards the front. Yeah, I can't do this. I literally don't have somebody to help me record. Um, yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. Okay, I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, now that I think about it, now like logically, you don't need to disconnect the wire harnesses because we literally only need to get to here and there. So yeah, we should be able to make that work. So we're gonna whip out the toolkit that I stole from my roommate and get cracking um i do believe that they are both six or seven millimeter bolts i'm not sure but i'm per but like i will we'll literally see in a second so just give me one second okay yes they are seven millimeters all right so there's the screw as far as i can tell these are the only two screws that you're gonna reuse for the screen don't get mad at me because this is not going to be the best tutorial in the world but we're gonna make it work still hopefully we'll see my hands kind of stuck all right so I left these back ones plugged in but I just quickly unplugged this one so I had more room to work with but right now I just unscrewed these two bolts and I'm grabbing these needle nose and kind of just you can see it wobbling right there at the bottom uh, so I'm gonna try and just kind of pry it off All right, so we pried the face of it off, and this is what's behind it, the CD player and the screen. So now we have to unbolt the screen and unbolt the CD player. That should be real quick, and then we can literally just plug and play. Super easy install, you guys. Literally 10 out of 10 so far. I just hope the product itself is worth it. And last but not least is the CD player, which there's a CD in. Crap, okay. How do we, how do we, I'm gonna have to plug it. Yep, okay, I'm gonna have to plug. We're going back, back to retro, you guys. Back to the OG. Okay, we gotta plug you back in. We're taking steps back here, you guys. This is not how it's supposed to be going. Can we do it without turning on the auxiliary? Where's the eject? Yes, we can. All right, so last but not least, same thing with this. Just unscrew these four bolts and we're gonna pop this big box out of here. There we go, so now we got the CD player out 
and this thing's a box. My boy Noah just came. Say what up to the vlog, What's Noah. What's going on? <laughs> Big Bass Pro, bro. We're setting all of this old stuff aside. So we got everything out, like I said. I did realize this low-key looks like a police scanner. I mean, this kind of is. This is a radar detector, but this looks like a police scanner. Anyways, um, the guy who sent me out this Tesla screen, I actually got it used off Facebook Marketplace. Um, he sent me a huge box of wires and a bunch of wire harnesses and connector connections like in the back. And I am just literally like, wow, I didn't know it was this complex. I know it's kind of plug and play, right? Like you're gonna plug it into a lot of these and yada, yada, yada. Um, but I literally thought it was like one big, or you know, one or two, but not like 30. But we're gonna figure it out. I have no clue what any of this stuff does. It is all labeled, thankfully. Like this has USB one on it. It's a lot of wire, so obviously everything's all knotted up. We're gonna take this and plug it in. Clearly it connects to right here somehow yeah like this so that's that and the other end is just this it's like a little receiver and this is a gps antenna so basically we're just kind of looking at the end of these and seeing where it fits the male end can kind of only fit in one of the female ends nope right here and this oh yeah that's gonna be fun if you guys know me, you know electrical is not my like strong suit. Like I just, I like, you know, disassembling like we just did and then putting things back together. When it comes to wires, uh, crimping, splicing, soldering, I can do it. I just don't really like it. Maybe here. Yep. Okay. Dude, we're kicking it in the ass so far. Okay. Pop off. It's a lot of wires. I'm getting anxiety just looking at this. Guys, look at all these wires. Oh my god, this is a mess. <laughs> Alright, so we kind of plugged all those wires in back here. But we're going to try turning it on right now, just to see. It should turn on. I think I have everything connected. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. You Oh, look at that. <laughs> it turned on. No way. Oh, this is sick. I'm so excited right now. And we have the starlights from Opal Light Optics in San Diego. Oh my God. Guys, this is good news. Let's see what works and what doesn't. Grant's iPhone. So, okay, so that means basically the computer of the vehicle, I guess, need the ECU in this case. Uh, remembered, it's my iPhone. So basically, um, I don't have to do all these reconnections. It's basically the same exact thing as this back here, except just a flat screen. So literally the same computer, the same memory, everything like that. Okay, so I'm kind of learning this as we go, but this is the volume right here. Obviously this is for the climate. Then you have your music. I like this, this looks pretty sweet. Uh, navigation, that was what I plugged in. That was like the one thing I knew what I was plugging in. So it utilizes Google Maps, that's pretty sweet. Anyways, I'm gonna get everything like set up, learn how this works so I can like really show you guys in depth how my first like opinions on this product. Um, I'm excited, this is gonna look sweet. I got class I gotta run to right now, but I'm gonna clean up everything, all these wires, tuck them in and basically put this screen and mount it in and it's gonna look sick. I'm so excited you guys. All right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. So guys, this is it. This is just so sick. I am in love with this. Not all the way in yet, obviously, as you can tell. Um, but just playing around with it, I'm trying to make sure everything works. Literally, this screen alone is so sick. You have your RPM gauge right here. You have your speedometer right there. Um, a picture of a car, I wonder if you can change that. I don't think you can, but that'd be cool if you can. Um, you could like literally, I don't know. This is cool to me. This is the music. I've, I've just been playing around with it kind of, and you can like switch them. So that's pretty cool that they're interchangeable. I like these up top because it makes most sense having to look there instead of all the way down. Uh, but that's literally like one one hundredth of the things that this, this can do. It's just so insane. You can literally go on Google, like, I, I don't know, I'm literally just mind blown. You can literally just search up anything, watch. This is just so crazy. <laughs> so the only thing notable is that things are kind of slow. It kind of takes a while for it to transition. 
to different screens and also the buttons on the steering wheel did not work at first so I had to come over to settings, go to wheel settings and then change this from high Z to low Z and then basically pair and sync or calibrate uh, each button on the steering wheel to here. Uh, it wasn't hard or anything, um, had to change up the equalizer, make the sound system sound good again. Uh, I am not connected to Wi-Fi, but once you connect to Wi-Fi, you can download images, you can go on Instagram, Snapchat, you can sign into your email, you can send emails, watch YouTube videos, watch movies, you name it, you can do it. Especially if you're connected to the Wi-Fi, that you have, which I'm not, obviously at the top right, but there's endless, basically, possibilities. I want to know if I can change this. I don't know if I can, but I feel like... I should be able to, I don't know. It's not even a S197 Mustang, this is a S550. This is the generation after mine, sixth gen. So kind of weird, especially given that this is only made for the fifth gen. I don't know why they'd put a sixth gen on, on it, but whatever. And there we go, you guys. It is put all the way in. That looks super good, oh my gosh. Guys, that looks so much better than that freaking calculator. Oh, these starlights. This interior is popping. We got something special coming. Uh, man, this interior is gonna look busting by the time we're done with it. All right, so these, like I said, were the only two screws that we ended up reusing. And we're just tightening them up and literally putting this, clipping it back onto the center console area. Also, this is an MGW shifter, as I said before, so make sure to check out that video. We lowered the tranny and did a whole bunch. It was really interesting, but we made it work. Oh yeah, this is awesome. And last but not least, we are going to slide this in. Oh yeah. And clip it. Oh, that's pretty cool too. When you open your door, it alerts you what is open on the vehicle from like a oh that is also another feature i don't have which i mean you can have but like i just don't have the you if you have sensors on your car you can have uh the option that ford offers the 3d uh satellite view for like backing up so basically the bird's eye view of your car like this but you're literally like let's say i'm backing up right now you can literally see uh objects that would be like in back of you on here from a top-down view instead of a backup camera. That's pretty cool as well. Um, but this is sweet. I f with this. Here it is with the interior finished. We have the star lights up top and down here. This is what we are looking at. So you can likely change the Mustang, I hope, and you can change the background from blue to whatever you want. Uh, it looks so much cleaner. And here it is with the car off. It's just such a clean look compared to what it looked like before. It makes the interior literally look 10 years newer than it did. Um, so yeah. So I am definitely happy with the results. Uh, that's pretty sweet. You can get them from Phoenix Automotive, I think. Um, but they are pretty expensive, so if you can find one used in good shape, get it used. The guy that sent it to me included a whole bunch of different wires for different features, so shout out to him. Uh, but make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Grant underscore Sloan or on TikTok. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.